Hey there Dev Squad Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can add the functionality for our main menu for our Mech Combat game. So if you take a look at the image currently being displayed on the screen, you can see what we're working towards. Now if we hop back into Unreal Engine, you can see where we are at the moment. Right now what we've done is we've set up the graphical elements for this main menu, so we have have a level and inside of this level we have buttons for start game, instructions and exit game. Now as of right now they don't currently do anything and that is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. So we're going to be adding functionality to each of those three buttons and we're also going to be working on the environment behind it just a tiny little bit to give it a little bit of life and to show you how you can use a 3D environment inside of a main menu. And then last Last but not least, the last thing we're going to be showing you how to do is showing you how to get your mouse cursor to display on the screen at all times. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. So what we're going to do then is start off with adding functionality for these three buttons. So starting off with start game, we are going to create a on clicked event for that. So select start game in your designer and then go all the way down to the bottom and create an on clicked event. What we're going to be doing with this is we are going to be opening a level. Now for the level name, we are going to be using the level that we've been working on. So if you want to make sure you've got the right name, go to open level and then it is level one that you're after or if you've named it differently, you can just put that in there. It is cap sensitive, so make sure that you do bear that in mind. Don't worry about the options and the absolute. Make sure this is just the way it is by default and you're going to be good to go with that one. Now, if we were to go ahead and press play, press start game, you are going to notice now it is going to open up that level and that button is working. That's pretty much all we need to do with that. Moving on from there, we're now going to set up the functionality for exit game. Once again, create an on clicked event. And then with this, what we're going to be doing is using the quit game function, which is essentially just going to quit the game and close it. So if I go ahead and hit compile with that done, hit play and press exit game, you are going to notice it is going to completely close it. Now, what you could do with that is you could add a confirmation box and all sorts of other things. And if you want to learn how to do that, I definitely advise you go ahead and check out my Unreal Engine 4 UI series. But for now, that is all good. Now, the next one that we're going to be working on is the instruction button. And what this is essentially just going to do is open up a widget with an instructions image on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and once again, I'm going to be creating an on clicked event. Now, what we're going to be doing is creating a widget and then we are going to be adding this to the viewport. And the widget class, we haven't created that yet, so don't worry about that just yet. But what we do need to do is remove the current widget from the parent. So just before you create that widget and before you add it to the viewport, you want to go in and you want to do remove from parent. And this is going to hide the main menu UI and then just leave that at the self. Now, as for the instructions image, what we're going to need to do is essentially just go in here. We're going to be creating a widget blueprint and we are going to give this the name instruction menu. And then with this, we're going to open it up. Now we need two things. First and foremost, an image, which we have got already. And then we're also going to have a button, which is simply going to return you to that main menu. With the image, we are going to set the Z order to zero, which is what it should be at default. And then with our Z order on the button, we are going to be making this higher. So we're going to be setting this to one. With the image, we're going to set the size X and Y to 1920 by 1080. And we're going to set the position to zero and zero. And we are going to anchor this to the entire size of the screen. 
Now then, what we do need to do from here is import the image for the instruction screen. Now, if you want to get to that, it is going to be underneath your project files for the Met Combat. Go to user interface and then go to instructional. And then if you open it up, you can see exactly what it's going to look like. It's this little image, which is basically going to explain exactly how the game is going to work. So having said that, what we're going to do is take this image and we're going to simply drag and drop it into our content browser along with the rest of the main menu stuff. And with that selected, we're then just going to be using the selected asset from the content browser. And with that done, we are now going to have the screen with all of the instructions. Now, what we do need to do is add the functionality for this button to take us back to the main menu. So what we're going to do with that is create an on clicks event. And from here, we are going to be removing from parent, which is going to essentially close the current window. And then we're going to create the widget for the main menu. So in here, we're going to set this to main menu and then we're going to add this to the viewport so the player can see it. Now with this in our design view, we're going to be anchoring this button to the top right hand corner so that they can see it really clearly. Now, what we're also going to be doing is using the reset button, using an image for that from our upgrade screen for this little icon here for the button. So once again, we're just styling this. So we're going to be going to the details panel of that button and we're going to be changing the normal hovered and the pressed. Now what we're after is going to be the stuff that we used before for that shop menu. Now, if you want to access that, you can do so quite easily. All you need to do is just go to your upgrade screen underneath Met combat user interface, upgrade screen, and then we're just going to be using the reset button. So the normal is going to be the reset button here, margin down to zero, and then our hovered is going to be reset active, and we're going to use zero for that, and then back to the normal image for the pressed, just like that. So now we have a little back button, which is going to reset the player to the main menu. Um, you can play around with the sizing if you want to, it's entirely up to you. You can move it along so it's not covering any of the details in the instruction panel, make sure you do that. But generally, you are going to want to have this in the vicinity of the top right hand corner, so it is very visible to the player and intuitive. If we go ahead and compile this, our instruction screen is now done. What we need to do from here is go back to our main menu, and then we need to go to our graph and we need to set the event from that instruction screen to use the class we just created for the instructions menu. Hit compile, hit play, and we should be able to do all of this. So first things first, start game, that works. Next up, instructions, that works as well. I can hit the reset button and it will take us back to the main menu. And then last but not least, we've also got the exit game button, which is going to work the way we want it to. So the last thing that we need to do now is essentially just make sure that the mouse cursor is going to be displayed at all times. The way that we're going to be doing this is by using the game mode that we created for the main menu. If you want to access that, go to your world settings and then open up our main menu game mode, just browse to that asset. And then inside of here, on begin play, what we're going to be doing is casting to the player controller, or you can just get player controller. And then with this, we're going to set show mouse cursor, and we're going to set this to true. And we're just going to hook it up just like that. And if we hit compile now, hit play and doesn't matter how many times we click that cursor is always going to be there. And once the game mode changes because we're in the level, it's going to go away and we're all good with that stuff. So the next thing that I wanted to do was essentially just work on the environment for our main menu because at the moment it's very dull. We have got the clouds, but what I want is to have a little landscape, a couple of trees and have our player standing to the left hand side. So what we're going to do is go to our landscape and then we are going to be using our material that we used for our level one landscape. Now, if you want to find that, it is going to be in one of your folders. So you've got to go ahead and find that. You can search for it by name if you do remember it. 
Now, if you wanted to and you can't remember it, you can just open up level one. You can select the landscape, go to the details panel, and you can see you've got it here, terrain material. So I'm gonna go back to that main menu. And then in here, landscape, the material is going to be terrain material. And then we're just going to hit create. Now, once we've done this, we've got to go to the paint tab and we've got to create these weight blended layers and do that for both of these. And that is then going to give you the color. If we go ahead and hit press play, we are not going to see it because we're currently underneath this landscape. So what we're going to do with the landscape is simply take that and then we're actually going to be moving it down just a little bit. So it's just like that. Now, what you also want to do is making sure you get rid of this platform. You're still going to have a shadow, but we'll get rid of that once we actually build the lighting. And then what we're going to be doing in this little environment is essentially just taking some of the foliage assets and placing it in. Now, the first thing that I'm going to be placing into here just for now is I'm actually going to be taking the mesh for our main character and I'm going to be putting it in there. Now, the one in particular that I'm using, I'm not going to be going straight to the mesh. I'm actually going to be using the idle animation, so it's going to play. So if I go ahead and press play, you can see it's going to idle there. Now, I need to keep working with my positioning, so I'm going to move it over to the left. I'm going to bring it forwards, and then I'm going to rotate it just like that. It's sort of about 60 degrees, so it's facing the camera. So you've got to play around with all of the positioning and all of that good stuff. You know, you've got plenty of time to do all of this. So I'm going to move it back and just like that. I'm going to move my player start up a little bit as well. And something like that I am now pretty happy with. What I'm also going to be doing is taking a couple of the other enemies that we've got. So the spiders and I'm going to be dropping these in here. So we're going to put one of those in there. We're going to put another one of those here. And if you wanted to, you can put in the different components. But if we press play, something like this should look pretty good. If it still looks off, you know, like I said, you guys can play around with this completely. You can adjust the height. You can adjust the location. You can bring all of these around. But for now, I'm really happy with how this main menu is starting to come together. The next thing that I'm going to add is simply just some foliage. So what I'm going to do is go to our forest environment. I'm going to go to the foliage mode. And then in this, all I'm going to do is take a couple of rocks and I'm going to paint them in here. Brush size is going to go all the way down and I'm just going to paint them into our scene. Now, I'm only going to paint it in where the camera is looking essentially. I'm not going to worry about behind it because that's going to cause us performance issues. But that is a nice chunk of rocks in there. The next thing that I'm going to be adding in here is some trees. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to find some trees. So we've got one there, one there and one there. I'm going to drag this into my foliage mode. And then once again, I'm just painting this on. You're going to have to adjust the density. So if you select these and change the density down to say something like 30 and then paint it on, we should get something which looks a little bit nicer like this. And make sure you go plenty far back as well. So when they're looking at it, it doesn't look like the world just disappears. So plenty of trees all the way down at the back. You want to make it nice and dense and looking really nice. And then last but not least, I'm going to add in some sticks. So I'm going to disable painting of those trees bring in the little sticks here. You're going to have to turn that intensity up if you want to see them. So paint density and we're going to bring them in. So it looks like that. And what we've got now is a really nice, beautiful looking scene. You know, you guys can take your time and you can add in the bushes, you can add in the plants and, and all of that good stuff. It's entirely up to you. But for now, if I press play, we have got a really nice looking main menu with characters, with enemies. We've got an instruction screen. We can start the game and do all of that good stuff. The only thing that we need to do from here is simply build that lighting to make sure all of the shadows are in the right place and all of that good stuff. Now, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to teach you in today's video, and that is it for the main menu for our Mech Combat game. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and as usual guys, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.
This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.